as it is to have had nine murders. The Annapolis police chief of nearly nine years fired. It's news that came as a surprise for some city officials. I thought his policies were sound. I was uh, a little bit disappointed because I think he did a, a fine job under difficult circumstances. In a statement, Mayor Mike Pantelides said in part, I am grateful for Chief Pristoop's dedication to our citizens and his commitment to protecting our city. He goes on to say this change is not about the person, but rather creating a new direction for policing and enforcement efforts. This isn't something he just thought about last night and, and did. It was something that he thought about over a lengthy period of time and you know, he's done it for the what he perceives as the best interest of the city. This decision comes in the midst of rising violent crime in the city. In Annapolis, there was only one homicide in 2015. In 2016, there were 10, making it its deadliest year on record. Two already in 2017. Police say the rise of opioid drug sales is partially to blame. But this decision also comes after a unanimous vote of no confidence in former Chief Pristoop from the Annapolis Caucus of African American Leaders back in October. We've had a lot of arrests in Annapolis, but that has not prevented crime. Carl Snowden is the convener of that caucus, and with the group's allegations of racial discrimination in mind, is glad to see Pristoop go. We were concerned that the police department, and the police chief in particular, was not providing the kind of leadership where the community as a whole had joined together to attack the problem of crime. And people in this city are concerned about the level of crime. We also spoke to Alderman Jared Littman by phone, who says if Pristoop was going to be the, quote, fall guy for a spike in crime, then that should have been said. Tomorrow, there will be a closed-door council meeting where at least Littman says he'll be looking for answers. Reporting live from Annapolis Police Headquarters tonight, Omar Jimenez, WBAL-TV 11 News.